What's up, Skulders? It's Nerp here, and look, I'm back at number one. I have pretty high ridden right now, uh, 1835, so hopefully I can get another weekly winner. We will see. And today we're going to do Judgment. So let's buy a run. And we have some good scrolls. Um, starting off with Charge Coil is good, Snorting Hunter is fine. Royal Skirmisher is amazing. Winx Charger, okay, but it's with order, and then the Great Wolf maybe. First row, I think I'm gonna take the Charge Coil. Maybe I should take the Creature. No, I'm gonna take the Charge Coil first turn, first row. Scissor the Owl. Um, I'll take the Royal Skirmisher in this row. Um, because nothing else on this row is really that good. I mean, Stag Heart, yes, I have good growth stuff coming up. But, Stag Heart, you really want other Stag Hearts. And there's not a guaranteed chance of me getting that. So let's take the Royal Skirmisher. Nothing really on this row. Um, so now it's a question, do I want Royal Skirmisher, Wing Charger, or Great Wolf, Sister of the Owl? I think Great Wolf, Sister of the Owl. So I'll go ahead and do that. And then there's a focus. Uh, we'll still, still take the History of the Owl here. And there's a Wetland Ranger. It's a Crossman too. So Order or Growth early on would have worked just fine. I'm still kind of in energy because I have that Charge Coil. Banner of Ordinance really isn't good at all, so I won't bother getting that. Blood Bottle does give Replenish. So maybe I want that over the Desperation. But Desperation just has such good, such good combo with Wantless. I'll take the Desperation. And now, Tureen Brute, Fosca, and Scott. That's good growth stuff. Uh, Beast Rat is really nothing special. I'm just going to get the Focus. Um, and now, the Wetland Ranger. I guess the Tureen Brute over the Fosca and the Skythorn. And now we've kind of run out of growth stuff. No growth scrolls of these 12. So, I'm not sure. None of these scrolls are really that good for what I'm doing. I think I'm just going to take the Snargle because there's a Storm Runner down here. Who knows? Maybe we're going to go energy if we get really good energy stuff. Binding Root is pretty good in Judgment. just stops an opponent unit, and it's also growth. Uh, I'll take the Wing Soldier, Storm Runner, another Great Wolf. Wow. Double Great Wolf deck, that's really nice. Hopefully I get to start, hopefully I start to get some Ragged Wolves. I will take the Binding Root. Um, another Wetland Ranger is good as well. Uh, Noadi is replenished. It could help me get into another faction, so I'll take that. Um, Owl does synergize with Sister Owl, but I think it's better to have two Great Wolves. It's awesome. So there's my second Great Wolf. There's my second Wetland Ranger. And there was another Stag card, so now I wish I took the Stag card earlier, but I wouldn't know that I had all this great growth stuff. This gives me order, so I could go like that because I do have focus. I could have focus in the deck, so I will take Stone Pack Memorial. Horn of Ages can be a cool splash as well. Now, I will take Stag Heart, even though oh, there's only one. Nothing else in the draw is really good at all. And uh, Champion or Noadi? I don't really have that many creatures. Noadi wouldn't be a bad choice. Great for Judgment. There's also the skimmer order, I don't think I need that though. Champion Room just is so good with uh, the Owl, which is going to have one. Champion Room is really good in this deck because I have one count of creatures and wetland readers and Great Wolf for Muntless, so I am going to take the Champion Room. Enchantments are going to be good in this deck. Um, Horn of Ages. Uh, I don't know, Useless Contraption. Get, ooh, Gusty, you get some nice growth creatures. Frostwind, I guess. Okay, here. I'll take the Vengeful Letter, will help me get to the 5 and 6 cost creatures. Now do I want to take the Akas Orbital over the Gusty Azuler? I do already have a 6 drop. I don't have any 2 drops, maybe I want to just take the Akas Orbital? Nah, really powerful. Scrolls just went out in Judgment. And there, there's a nice 2 drop I can take. Uh, Budding Vetter is fine as well. Uh, there's an Akas Orbital. Or an owl. Um, and another champion run. Hey, this is going well. And a sister there. Or a rally. Wow. So, Akasarble or owl. 
I have a sister to the owl, but I will just take the outcast rubble. And, ooh, wildling. That's good. I'll take the champion ring. Now, sister to the bear or rallying. How many creatures do I have? 12 creatures. Rallying can be really good, especially with the gusty Azuler. Um, I already have a couple of four drops. You know what? Let's take the rallying. Just having, like, that scrolls come out of nowhere can really mess my opponent up. Um, we're gonna go mono. Maybe, probably not. So maybe it's gonna be good to splash purification or kabonk or wicked being. Right now it looks like I'm gonna have one order because of the sand, the stone pact. So I will take the purification. Uh, I don't know. Beast rat, sure. Okay, not getting the the growth stuff anymore. Him. Whatever, it's not a good scroll, but I might end up using it. Another Ventral Vetter, which is good. Here I will take the... Ventral Vetter, just because... I mean, down here, I took the Vengeance Veil. Up there. Um, I don't know, Duke Lomitriman. Ventral Vetter. Earthworm Keeper is good. Another Horn of Ages. Soldiers, alright, there's another 2 drop. Earthborn Keeper, Kinfolk Ranger, oh, Earthen Mirth is nice for this deck. Crone, Crimson Bull is pretty good. Earthen Mirth, Fjords of Vigor, and so close to mana. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to go Stand Pact? I'll go Heritage. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Let's start by adding all the growth scrolls. Sorry if you can hear my sister on the piano. Uh, our curve is okay. A lot of two drops, good amount of three drops, a couple four drops, a couple five drops, and a couple six drops. So that's actually good. Um, what do I want to take? I think I want to take out. Not really, I guess one stack heart isn't that useful. I don't know, what would we add? Order stuff. Maybe if I just add all of the one drop things. Because I do have a stone pact. And do I want to take two things out of this deck? I mean, I do have a lot of creatures, but I think that's kind of good. I guess I could take out Beast Rat. Beast Rat's a bad creature. Even with the Fjords of Vigor helping it out. Do I want to take out the one stack heart? It's only a plus one, plus one, but that could be crucial. You never know. Or if you take the him, nah, the him might be important because I have a lot of healthy, like a high health creatures. It could heal a lot of health. I'll get rid of the stack heart. Okay, so let's crawl this growth order, and I'm liking this deck. Hopefully, this is going to be a five winner. Match is found. Head right into it. All right, it is now a post commentary, so I can have it going by really fast. So, I. Don't draw a two drop early on, unfortunately for me. So that means I'm going to have to have my first creature be the Terrain Brute, which is not bad at all because he has four health. And Hag is playing Order. And he plays an Obelisk, so that's good health, but I mean, I have two very strong creatures early on uh, before, he had it, before he put down that Knight Sergeant. And now, because I have like that Earth Mirth for like massive attack, I decided to just move down and pressure the Knight Sergeant and not take out the Obelisk right now. Because cause I wanted to take him out. But he does flip him away, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, he still used the scroll to just move the other guy away. And I do use my Gusty Azuler to protect. Because he has enough health to take one hit of damage. He plays two three two threes, draws a scroll from one of them. I do take out the... Obelisk this turn and get another of the Knight. What am I saying? Knight? I can't even speak. Wetland Ranger's out. Yeah, it's looking good for me. I mean, my stuff is attacking. I'm able to take out two of these guys he has this turn. And I do use my Great Wolf for, to defend because I don't really just want to lose anything. Um, and he just surrenders there. 
and that is one win of hopefully five. So here is round two, and this time I do have a turn two play, so I go ahead and play him. My opponent again does not have a very strong start. He does play a Skull Shrine, but I don't have to worry about that. I separate my units, so whatever he puts down this turn will be threatened by one creature attacking. So that is pretty important. And he does play the Lachlan Brood. I just play the Earthen Mirth. Um, so I can take the thing out. I could have played it on the Lachlan Brood to kill it, but why would I do that when I can play it on my own guy and keep the enchantment? So, uh, in this coming turn, I get a Great Wolf down, so it is definitely looking good. He plays a Destroyer, but that's not really doing anything. I could just get the Great Wolf down. Yeah, there's so many strong creatures in this deck. It's really hard for my opponent to deal with it. Unless they have like all a ton of damage curses and bounce dispersals. And I can gusty next turn. He plays a couple scatter gunners. So I'm hoping I top like a rally. But it's really it's not really I don't need it. So I actually just go for resources and play the gusty and hopefully I can take out both of those scatter gunners the following turn. And he is I have a wildling in hand. Um, not a great way to use my resources. It's already like power trips to go to seven, so he does not draw a scroll from the power trip. He just plays a reindeer. So um, that protects his scatter gunner in the back, but I am going to be able to kill both the front scatter gunner and the cannon automaton. So and uh, that means that I'll be taking four damage, and I'm hoping he doesn't have an extra hit point of damage to kill my gusty but it wouldn't be a huge deal if it does die because i have so many other powerful creatures on the board and i actually got the second great wolf out instead of the sister of the owl uh, last turn he just hides himself in front of a oculus cannon so i don't really want to get into that so i decided to take out an idol and play uh more threats on the board so now i just have to destroy one more idol and he uh, I was trying to see what he can do. Um, I have threats coming in on either side of the board, and it's looking pretty bleak for him. He goes ahead and plays a Snargle Omelette to kill the Gusty, but like I said, that doesn't really matter. Um, unfortunately, I'm not able to win this turn. I just move into the Oculus Cannon's view now. It doesn't really matter anymore. I'm going to win. I actually do a huge clump up for Thunder Surge. Um, he likely didn't have it though, and he didn't even have re didn't even have enough resources. He ended up only having four resources by by the end of this, so I just kind of pummeled him that match. So that's two wins, zero losses going into match three, and this time I again don't really have that great of a start. I mean, I can go, I can go three drop into four drop, which is good. And I luckily top deck the Terrain Brute, which is a stronger turn 3 play than the Budding Better. And uh, looks like he has a slightly faster growth start than me, so that's not good news. But I'm able to get the Wetland Ranger out now. And he plays a Sister of the Bear of his own. So this might be a peculiar play. I play Rally just to have the just to have the Terrain Brute go off so I can take out a couple creatures. It was not the best play. It didn't really matter much. So now instead of uh, a champion running so I can take out one of his creatures, I just get out another um, wetland ranger and they both have two attack for the next turn because I hit the idol instead. And unfortunately I don't have enough damage to really do a lot so I get the great wolf out and hit the idol again. And now even though he had a nice start it looks like I'm going to be able to pull ahead here. He plays champion to take out one of the rangers but there's not a whole lot he's going to be able to do um, to stop my powerful creatures. There, I got a champion ring on one of them. He gets the Nog Nest to go off, so he has some Nogs, some structures, but with a Great Wolf and one Countdown, guys, all those guys will be gone in just a second, and I do go for a couple more enchantments this turn to plow through. And he uh, plays Underdog Spite, which is an interesting play. He gets him some extra growth because he hit the idol, and then he got two things to attack. But I'm just still playing a creature per turn, and it's very hard for him to come back against my super powerful creatures. 
So I get a gusty down this turn instead of another great wolf. Um, just because I knew something might have to die. The crone goes down, unfortunately, but it's okay because now I can just play a Sister of the Owl. And you see, he plays another Skythorn. So this guy has a lot of structures in his growth deck. Some uh, spiky stuff on the board right now. I just get some more powerful creatures on the board. Ping the idols a little bit. And just take out one more idol to win. And that is the game. So that is three wins and zero losses. On to the next match. Franconi. Franconi is playing Order. And this time I do have a slightly strong start. I can go turn 2 Kinfolk Ranger, turn 3 Kinfolk Ranger, and turn 4 Wetland Ranger. Unfortunately for me, he did have the Righteous Partisan, so that means it's almost like a Sister of the Fox for him. And then he gets down the other conditional unit, um, the Defender, and I get my Wetland Ranger out. And uh, I have another Wetland Ranger in hand, which is good, so it looks like it's good that I'm going to take the middle of the board. He gets a Rellaross out, so that's a little scary, but I like that I have middle of the board. And look at all my Rangers on the board. That looks pretty cool. All of them waving their spears in the air. So then he gets a lucky paw there, two thirds chance. I guess it didn't have to be that lucky. And he's able to kill one of them, and then a horn of ages to give the enough attack to get rid of the ranger. And then he also plays a crossbow. So that was a really strong turn for him. And now I don't really have uh, much to do. I can't move my creatures. I don't even have enough damage if I could move my creatures because of that armor, because of the armor on that defender. If I play any creatures. And I decide just to play a budding vetter just for some protection in the middle there because I don't really want to lose um, my my uh, wetland ranger in the back. Transition any faith duties. Faith duty is really hard to deal with uh, in judgment. Like I don't really have an answer to that, so my creatures aren't attacking. So I at least have to kind of separate among rows um, so that he can't stop all of my creatures from attacking. But it's definitely not looking good from right up. He has strong creatures hidden behind um like gallant defender which is really really strong for against growth because it, i do have earthen mirth but i really want to i really want to draw an earthen mirth so i can take down those gallant defenders but even if i do i have all those creatures behind that are going to attack so i'm considering surrendering um i try to position somewhat effectively and not lose too many things but with that reller house all those guys get more attack too and it's just it's just not going well. So he plays a Duke of Mission to take out a couple of the one Catholic creatures and another Faith Duty. Um, really hurts. It stops him from attacking. And now I make a peculiar, peculiar play here by binding rooting that Duke of Mission. Might not be seen it as a great trade because that thing was going to kill itself anyways because of the one damage per turn. And it's going on to something that wasn't that powerful. But Faith Duty just screws me up. So I just really didn't want any part of that. And he plays a Prisoner of War. Which is actually really, really good. Um, in, in like a Judgment deck, you can just get three scrolls that you can sacrifice. That's kind of cool. And I have a double Champion Ring of Cern. I can't do a whole ton with it. Um, I do at least... Take something out. I'm not getting the best draws as you can see in this match as I had the last two matches, but it's not so bad. Um, I'm surprised I'm still in this game. It felt like I was much farther behind in the beginning. And he plays a Knight Sergeant right in the middle there, and I'm going to lose my Owl. And now... I... He actually leaves those guys open up there, so I can just take him out. And I just play one creature, the Gusty, this turn, so the thing still has no armor. And now it's actually looking good for me. It looks like I almost turned the tables. So here I elect to simply take out the the Storm Knight with just another Blessing of I mean, Champion Ring. And I also get a Crone down, which is... Very effective, considering both of his creatures are really strong, so I don't think he, any of them wants to die to a crone. So it's all of a sudden looking actually in my favor. It was in his favor this whole matchup to the like, last turn. And I have a double Great Wolf in hand and an Earthen Mirth, so now 
looks like I'm slowly uh, taking taking control of the match. He puts a he puts a warding stun right there, which I'm fine with because I just my sister that owl actually had one health, so I get her back in my hand, and I'm gonna get when I play her again, she's gonna have full health, and she's gonna spawn an owl with her. So I'm fine with that, and he plays a Horn of Ages, unfortunately, so I can't really effectively rally this turn, which I wanted to do. So I just have to, I just play um, Sister the Owl, save a rally for next turn, or the turn after, and hope he doesn't have a lot of stuff to completely destroy me. And um, I, if I remember correctly, it was pretty bad this turn. He played a Pother there, and that was pretty perfect. He's able to take out both of those creatures up there, which are really strong. And there's a faith duty. So all of a sudden, it looks like he the the match swung back into his favor. Just looking at the board, but I do have a rally, which you see here does do a lot because of my flying gusty. Could just fly up there, and then I can take it out. And I do take out middle idol too. So that was a, an effective rally, and now it looks back into my favor. So this is a very close judgment match. Most judgment matches are usually one sided because one deck better than the other. But both of our decks uh, seem to be pretty interesting against each other because he had a lot of defense um, I just had strong enough creatures to like break through it looks like and I play a horn of ages of my own so I go into order and I just hide and it looks like I'm gonna be able to win because it looks like I can take down the bottom idol soon and he doesn't have a lot he can do he kinda nullifies the horn of ages by playing um, redeploy and transposition but it doesn't really do a lot to me it just takes out a couple creatures and my crone uh, destroy something, so that's not too bad. I'm gonna be able to kill his stuff. So this really seals the seals the deal for him. There's not really much coming back um, now that I'm starting to really take control of the board with stronger creatures than him. Um, and I have a five one <laughs> five one one owl. He does play new orders to take that out quickly, but like I said, it's still looking good for me. And I have a him. Which interestingly can come in handy by healing the wildling up so I can get it back up to 4 health so I can start putting more creatures next to it. So that could be a decent idea coming up. But I'm not sure if I'll need to do that because I might be able to win before that. He plays a Storm Knight. I do decide to go for the heal and I, I could make that tearing brood attack by playing both of those creatures this turn and take out the storm knight which in hindsight i guess would have been the be the better play i don't know why i didn't didn't really matter there wasn't really anything he could do to win the game at this point um wasn't sure what he was trying to accomplish here but it looks like he's trying to take out that guy up there but then i would just win by hitting the top idol and the bottom idol so i'm not really totally sure what he was trying to do here um i actually really said that he was thought he could kill the brute but that didn't happen and i do I maybe I had lethal there? I don't think I did, so I ended up just clearing the board. And he's doing a good job of just defending the idols, slowing me down. But I've pretty much had the game for about I don't know, like five turns or so. Um, yeah, he just plays more stuff on the board, and uh, I'm just gonna keep piling on the threats to give him no chance of coming back. And I believe this is it. Um, he plays a uh, faith duty, but there's I, could, I just have to destroy one more idol, and with all my all my powerful creatures, it won't be too hard in the next turn, which I do. So that was a pretty intense match. Um, most judgment matches are not that intense, so I was thankful for that. And now that is the fourth win, so four wins and zero losses. Just have to win one of the next two matches to get the full reward for judgment five wins. This match against Dandelion, um, I do start with Adventure Letter on turn two, which is good. I think the only time I started with a turn two Adventure Letter in this whole run. And there is a Crone, and I elect. So I, first of all, I play the Earthborn Keeper this turn, and I elect to actually let my Adventure Letter destroy itself, killing his Wing Spear. I mean, I'm losing a two drop. He's losing a, who's losing a three drop. I think that's a fine trade. And uh, I get a Tyrene Brood out, so it's looking good for me in the early game. Plays a Storm Knight, which is a little scary. And I could have could have actually killed that Storm with a Focus and a Champion Ring, but I decided not to just get the Wetland Ranger out. I keep my Crone down there, luring him up to kill it. And I just want to make sure I have control of the center of the board. And he plays some strong creatures, but I thought like an Earthen Mirth. 
Um, I actually just decide to go with um, go with a binding route on um, on that storm knight. I know the storm knight you might be like, oh no, he has two attack. That was really stupid, Nerp. Well, binding route decreases move by two, so yeah, he can't move at all unless he has like a new orders or something, or champ position or powder. And um, he moves down, but Macron's down there. So it's looking good yet again for me. It looks like I'm going to get my fifth win rather soon. Once I get Earth and Mirth on those one countdown creatures, it should go my way really quickly. I take out Middle Idol with my Terrain Brute. And he maneuvers around. And... Uh, he actually has a couple more extra scroll than me and more resources, so I'm not out of the woods yet. He goes for Decay, plays a Ripper, and plays another Skirmisher, so certainly I'm in a little bit of trouble, but not not enough trouble that I don't feel safe just playing a nice big creature this turn. Um, because, like I said, that guy can't move. He does go through Reversal and a Redeploy, so he can take out an Earthen Earth creature, but he did pay a couple scrolls to do that, so I don't really mind that. And I go with my own um my own horn of ages to lock him in place so he can't really attack me this turn and i can come in and kill him next turn i am kind of letting him hit my middle idol which is a little risky but um that was a risk i took and with a crimson bull on this turn i should clear most of his board so now he doesn't have a whole a big chance of coming back in the game. And with that Royal Inspiration, he does draw two scrolls because the Dominion effect is activated. So he's getting good card draw there. I get the Champion Ring on that Grey Wolf, which almost clears the row. And I play another creature. So now I I have just quite a strong board. He gets a Gown Defender out. And luckily, actually a Champion Ring gives just enough damage to destroy that Ripper. And yeah, he doesn't see any way out of this, um, so he just surrenders, and that is my fifth win. Five. All right, guys, so we kind of coasted to that 5 0 judgment run. Um, only challenge in there was really facing Franconi, which uh, we almost lost towards the beginning, but we were still able to prevail and got the five wins, zero losses. Um, I don't know what I want to take. I don't know what scrolls I have all th I have three tier threes up. I don't think I have three tier three gusties. Actually I think I do. I just remember <laughs> finishing tier three gusties. Oh I'm stupid. Um I don't have tier three vengeful vetters I don't think. Um I don't know, I'll take Terrine Brute, and I get some rares. Hmm, what are some nice rares? I guess this should the owls decent. And then I do I just take the other two great wolves or the butt? I think I should take the budding better and one of the great wolves. All right, not too bad. Cash in all this gold. Oh yeah, guys, you probably you may have noticed that um. I had like almost 400,000 gold in like the last video. Um, I spent a lot of it buying packs because I'm trying to go for the full tier 3 set so I did a lot of crafting. And I think I'm going to try to hover above 300,000 and then whenever I get enough over that I'll just like buy a bunch of packs and do more crafting. So I guess that'll be it for today. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this and I will see you all tomorrow.